you asked me this question yesterday, but I didn't get to ask you. <laughs> is there somebody like that you, that's on your bucket list for a podcast? It can be local. It can be big. It can be, well, I guess it has to be a lot. I got to do three. I got to do three. I can't just do one. Ooh. It's like the Lay's potato chips, man. I can't just. Exactly, man. One. Or cats. Yeah. Uh, Metallica, number one. Like all of them or just uh, it does not or well, it, Lars? Uh, original members. I'll okay. say original. Okay. No disrespect cool. to Robert because he's done a heck of a job with, with Ozzy and in Black Label Society and uh, Suicidal Tendencies. And I'm, I cannot remember the uh, other band he was associated with. But no disrespect to him, but I want the originals. Yeah. You know, James, Kirk, and Lars, doesn't matter which one of them because... As I said many times at my podcast and several times right here during this interview, if without them, I would not be sitting here. Yeah, Metallica, man. They, uh, so uh, for everybody that's out there knocking me for like Metallica, hey, you do your thing, I'll do my thing. They're the greatest. I, okay, this this feels right to say. They're probably the greatest metal band to ever exist. That, I mean, I, I just don't, especially like still going today, mm-hmm. you know. Like I know there's still Black Sabbath and I'm trying to like consider like metal metal you got Black Sabbath and you had um, uh, Motorhead before Lemmy passed away yeah but even Motorhead Metallica is still way bigger than Motorhead true uh, wow man but it, it would probably be either Black Sabbath or Metallica as being the greatest metal band of all time like just a, the forefathers Slayer's up there, but even then, like, they didn't have the cultural impact that Metallica had. Yeah. Like, whenever you, like, think of metal, you think of Metallica. That's, like, the first band that pops up. So, I don't know, man. That'd be an interesting rabbit hole to dive down of who's the greatest metal band ever. My next one's got to be Corey Taylor Ooh. from Slipknot. Uh, Alex from downstairs, he says Iron Maiden. Yeah. Good. Judas that's Priest. Ooh, that's another good one. Yeah, forgot I, Judas so, Priest, so man. Many, man. See, I do these interviews and I just make forget. A death. Yeah, make a death. Still, I would still say Metallica over all of them, though. That's a tough See, one, man. Then that's going to be a huge debate between Metallica fans and the Megadeth fans because that's a bad split between those. You know? I think Metallica, <laughs> Megadeth. Do not get me wrong, man. One of the one of the greatest to ever do it. But I would still say Metallica is bigger than them. If you're if they if they done a tour. Megadeth would be opening for Metallica. Yeah. That's... I, people can get mad if they want, but that's just... I can't wait to see the comments on this. You can't, <laughs> and, and you can't leave Anthrax out. There's another band, Anthrax. I mean, we yeah, can talk but, about uh, this yeah, all day long. Yeah, I mean, there's people that like... But I'm saying like the the great, like the top dog of it all. Yeah. <sighs> it's either Sabbath or Metallica. Like, man, Sabbath, though. <laughs> <laughs> because... Then we're going to have to go down the uh, Aussie Sabbath or Dio Sabbath. Oh, it had to be Aussie Sabbath. Because they, like, they started it, man. Didn't um, Sabbath release their first album in the late 60s? I believe so. That's crazy. I'll, I'll look this up just to make sure. But, yeah, I mean, it, like people don't understand. That's normal now. Mm-hmm. But a song like Paranoid back in the 60s, if people think Lil Nas X is the devil, oh, they have man. no idea what it was like back then. The same yeah. people that are calling this rapper dude the devil nowadays are the same people that grew up listening to Kiss and ACDC. What what did ACDC stand for? Uh, uh, oh, something something devil children. Yeah. They were saying like I mean all types of crazy stuff, man. And yeah, the people don't know how shocking Ozzy Osbourne was whenever he first came out. 